What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? So, Beauty and the Beast, Tom, Skull Island, Logan, Episode 8, Last Jedi, the teaser best trailer. love letters to Hollywood that we have this ever seen. This film is a masterpiece. So, until the next time, goodbye. It is based off the Stephen King novel of the same name, and it tells the story of Pennywise the Clown, who is terrorising the town of Derry, Massachusetts, and it also tells the story of this group of kids known as the Loser Club, who band together to take down this clown. Now this summer has been really disappointing movie-wise, that's why I haven't really been reviewing any films recently, and so by the time It came out, I was dying to see a great film again, and thankfully, It delivers on every level. So like I said, the film tells the story of this young group of kids who are sort of social outcasts. They're all outcasts for various different reasons, but they each have a very distinct fear. And Pennywise the Clown basically feeds off these fears and uses their nightmares to basically trap them and kidnap them, essentially. And lots of kids have been going missing in this one town. And the main characters have to figure out why these kids are disappearing and how they're all connected to this one clown who they all keep seeing. First off, I just want to say how excellent all the main actors are. The kid actors, they're all great. They have amazing chemistry. And some of the jokes and the way that they talk, they're really funny as well. But it's that chemistry and the heart and those character arcs of those main kids in the loser group that really keep this film going. Not to say that it isn't the scares that make the film really good, but it's the performances and those main characters that separate it from other horror films who don't really care about their main characters and all they care about is jump scares. And it is a very, very different kind of horror film. It uses those cliches, but it does them differently and it delivers a thoroughly entertaining horror film that I really enjoyed. Now let's talk about those scares. Some of the sequences in this film are genuinely scary. It definitely deserves its R rating. From the opening scene, you're basically thrown into it, and from that scene you're like, oh, this is the direction that this film is going to go. And some of those sequences, some of the visuals and the images that you see, they really stick in your mind. And some of these nightmares that the kids are having, they're really relatable, because honestly, who isn't afraid of clowns? And on the subject of the clown, Bill Skarsgård, <laughs> take a bow, because you are really good in this film. Pennywise could have been laughable. When the first images were released, people thought it looked terrible. But having seen the film, he's used just enough. Because if he was in it the whole film, he could have been really annoying. But he's used sparingly, and in all of the nightmare sequences that the kids have, he's there and the voice and the visuals that they use to basically bring this character to life, they're all really cool. And Bill Skarsgård's voice for Pennywise, I mean, if you've seen the trailers, you've heard it, but it's like, take it, take it, take it, Georgie. Yes, that's my Pennywise impression. Bill Skarsgård does it much better. See the film and see the performance for yourself, because I'd say that Pennywise is probably one of the most memorable horror villains in recent years. The direction is spot on for this film. The film was directed by Andy Muschietti, I think. Sorry if I mispronounce your name, but he does a really good job directing this film. As for flaws, I'd say there's a patch maybe two thirds into the film where the scares aren't really happening. And not to say that it isn't enjoyable, it's just that you're like, okay, we built up lots of tension and now we're sort of losing it, but then eventually we get back to it. And the final 20 minutes, it's full of tension-filled scene after scene after scene. And when all those character arcs hit and it's their final showdown against Pennywise, it's really satisfying. A small flaw that I also had was some maybe stretches of logic that happened when the, the rules of what Pennywise was doing weren't actually explained very well. So things happen and you sort of take it for granted because it's a horror film. And not to say that you can't use your imagination and sort of fill in the blanks as to what's happening, but I think some moments could have used a bit more explaining and things sort of happen and you're like, how did that happen? Does that actually make sense when you think about it? But those moments were definitely few and far between and they took nothing away from the overall impact of this film. The acting is great. The best parts of the film are when the kids are just interacting, just being kids and doing what they do, and the way that they talk, one character in particular is so funny, and every line he had was honestly laugh out loud funny. So the interaction between the kids, the scares are done really well. Pennywise is great. Bill Skarsgård, again, nails it as Pennywise, and... If you weren't afraid of clowns, 
I'm pretty sure you will be. And some other things in this film will also have you up at night, definitely. All in all, I had a great time watching it. It's one of the best horror films in recent years. I'm gonna give it an A-. Definitely check this one out. I'm pretty sure it's already broken the Thursday night box office record. It's gonna be a massive hit. And it's set up for a sequel which I'm so on board for seeing. So those are my thoughts on it. If you guys have seen it, what do you think? Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. And until the next time, goodbye.